Hi, this is Chuck from Team Long Run. We filmed a couple of run clubs that we've run here in Maine. And our intent is for you to look at them, learn from them, and be able to run a run club on your own, just from watching and seeing how we get things done. Okay, what do you do when you hear the whistle one time? Uh, stop. No, go, no, go. go. Two times, stop. Two times? Stop. Three times, go back. Three times, change direction. Okay, let's, yep. let's give this a try. Uh, four times, go fly in the air. Ready? <laughs> Our first activity is the whistle stop game, and we do that, really we discovered it's a great way to get the wiggles out and get the kids going right away without having any explanations or instructions, and it's a great way to get the kids warmed up and ready to go and ready to listen. Um, it's simple, I blow the whistle once, the kids run forward. If I blow it twice, the kids stop. If I blow it three times, they reverse direction. Um, it's a fun game, it's a little bit like red light, green light, and the kids seem to enjoy it, and we really get the uh, wiggles out in a hurry. The next activity we do is sort of a plyometric instructional part, where we really, that's where we do our teaching. Um, you'll see some of these activities, I ask the kids to go high knees or high, point their toes up. Um, we skip. We develop coordination and um, it helps, eventually it'll help with running form. This is new, I don't think we've done this. We're gonna do a march, but we're gonna do a high knee march. You're not gonna run, you're not gonna skip. You're just gonna march, but watch what's gonna be different today. Your knee is gonna be up and your toes are gonna be up. So it's a knee up, toe up, march. So you're gonna go knee up, toe up, knee up, toe up. Don't point your toes down, point your toes up. So knees up and toes up. You ready? I just want you to march as far as me. Ready? Go. March. Knee up, toe up. Knee up, toe up. Let me see those toes up. Good. Good, good. And then knee up, toe up, march back. Nope. Guys, too far. Come back. Just to me. This activity is a simple relay. The kids are on a team. Uh, it can be as few as two or three or as many as six or seven kids. The first time they run and they do this in order, they're in a single file line. The first time they run, they go around the first cone. The second time they run, they go around the second cone. And the, obviously the third time they run, they go around the third cone. Um, we do that till everybody's run through all three cones and it's a great lesson in teamwork. It's a great lesson in learning how to win and in learning how to lose.
Okay. All right. Let's take a five, no, a four minute playground break. All right? This is, are you still filming? Okay, this is important. We give the kids a playground break, they catch their breath, and it gives us a chance if we need to reset the cones or do anything to get ready. So playground breaks are always good. Three, all right, you can run with a cowbell. All right, now when I say go, you go, if you knock over a, a hurdle, what do you do? Go over the cowbell. Keep running, on your marks. Get set, go! Ready, wait, 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 wait. These are what we use for hurdles on the obstacle course or the hurdle track. Um, it's just half inch doweling that I cut in half. Um, I think it was a 48 inch dowel that I cut into two 24s. And then this is pipe insulation. So I drive these into the ground and then just fit the pipe insulation over them. Um, you can see um, it's a pretty simple construction and the kids don't ever worry about hitting them because they're super soft and harmless. It doesn't hurt at all for the kids to run into it. So they can try and hurdle with confidence that if they hit the hurdles, it won't hurt. Um, it's a lot of fun. You'll see some very little kids clear all the hurdles. Um, again, it's a great way to learn to run knee up, toe up, and it's a, it's a lot of fun as well. I've got a lot of cones and you're gonna need a lot of cones to do this game. Um, we have the kids take cones out into the field and set them down. And then I'll have the kids get another cone and go out with the second cone to stack on top of one of the cones that's already set out there. It does not have to be the cone that they set out. So if they wanna to go to the nearest cone, they'll often race to the nearest cone. But once a second cone is placed on it, you can't place a third, so you have to find an open cone. And we'll do that um, up to stacking four cones. And you can vary it you know, any way you want. It's a set and retrieve game. Um, it's a lot of fun. The kids have to find cones. At, at some point, they have to find a cone that has the proper amount of cones stacked or not stacked on it. There's one that's over the horizon. Oh, We used to play a team tag game called Rabbits and Wolves. But during the pandemic, you know, um, there's been some concern about kids touching each other. So tag is um, officially off the books. So we play a version of it called Rabbits and Wolves, where I start on the center line of a soccer field, right at midfield, and separate the kids into two equal teams rabbits and wolves. The rabbits have to run around the back of one goal and the wolves run around the back of the second goal and back to midfield. If the rabbits all get back first, the wolves go hungry. If the wolves get back first, they've eaten well. And the kids can see the other team coming back to midfield, so it's kind of a fun closing race. The last activity in most run clubs is a race um, with me or another team leader, facilitator, teacher, um, an adult typically, and it's called Beat the Old Man. Obviously the name comes from them racing me. And the objective is for everybody to beat me or beat uh, the adult who's r running. Um, some adults choose to make it competitive. Um, I always chose to make it so even the last kid finished just ahead of me. Uh, it's a great opportunity for the kids to cheer for each other, to cheer that last kid on. Um, they typically get more cheers than the first kid because it's very, very fun to see the adult lose. Run club because you get to be active. Because you get to run and exercise. And I love the wolf thing with wolf tried to meal. You get to do some things that you normally wouldn't be able to do, and that's why I love Run Club. Yeah.